want to see all the projects I'm working on? I spent this morning digging through my stash, digging through bins and bags, and trying to make sense of it all. And I've got them all out, and I can show them to you. I'm Michelle, this is my Romantic Tangle, and let's talk about the projects I'm carrying over into the new year. I, back in September, when the wildfires were moving closer to the house, grabbed everything, and on the first night when I thought we were about to leave, I grabbed the most important, bestest projects and put them in a tote bag and took them to my mom's house. And then we came back and we watched and we waited and we rented a storage unit. And over the next couple of days, everything in my sewing room that was worth something or that I wanted to keep got in boxes and moved to the storage unit. But there was no rhyme or reason to what I did. And now... My romantic tangle is a literal thing. Someone please tell me that this was not one of the dumbest things I have ever done. I went through all of my boxes, all of my bags, pulled out everything. There are at least four projects missing, and one of them, which absolutely almost breaks my heart, is Little Girl's Fancy. It is my Paula Vaughn, and I was so close to done with that thing. It is here. I know it is here. I just can't figure out where it is here. But it's not like I don't have other things to work on while I am sorting through whatever it is I have done to my stash. This one is All is Calm. It's a Dimensions Gold Collection kit. I do not have the packaging with the finished image because I found this at a thrift store for $2.25 or something like that. And all it was, it was the seal package that comes inside the old Cardboard Dimensions Gold Collection envelopes. I saw trees, it looked like a Dimensions chart. I bought it, I brought it home, and I love this. It's just, I couldn't tell you why I haven't been working on it. Maybe because there's so many shiny new things to work on, maybe because it is so much endless blue. With the weather we're having lately, it seems like a time to dig this out and work on it. Beacon at Daybreak is a Dimensions Gold Petites. It is the next in line, and the end is in sight on this one, and I was really trying to finish it in 2020, but that confetti just melts my brain. I will get there. It's not going to be this week. Peaceful Countryside was a mania start, I think, in 2019. And what holds me back with this one is I it's someone else's kit. And I started over because they had only done a little stitching in the center, but I went with their floss sorting and never went back and double-checked their work. So I started to go, oh, what if they were wrong? What if I am doing the wrong thing? And honestly... With the color scheme of this one, if they are a little bit off, I'll replace the floss with some DMC and it will be okay. I just have to keep reminding myself of that. If you watch my channel, you have seen Furry Friends a lot this past year. I have had fun with this one and I definitely plan to finish this one. The cats and the brown gets overwhelming now and then and right now I'm taking a break and Working on different things, but I am sure I will be back to my cats soon. Morning Lake is another one that you have seen a whole lot of. It's another Gold Collection Petites kit. And I wish Amy hadn't told me that she had changed the number of strands instead of doing it as the pattern is written. Because I was motivating myself with the idea that if she had gotten through it, I could too. Southwest Mesa is pretty close to my oldest whip when I started cross-stitching around 2000. I asked for a counter cross stitch kit for Christmas. Actually, I asked for a needlepoint kit because I thought I wanted to learn needlepoint. And my husband went out and he got me this. I've lost the original packaging. I do, thank goodness, still have the chart and everything because I have started over with my own fabric and my own floss. And Cozy Cove was another mania start from 2019. And I have no explanation for this. I want to stitch it. It is one of the most gorgeous things I have in my stash. But it's really overwhelming. Cuckoo Clock is Riolis, and we all know how much I love Riolis. And I love Cuckoo Clocks, and 
There just aren't enough hours in the day, guys. European Bistro is another Dimensions Gold collection. I love the colors of this one. I keep seeing people working on this one and the progress they're making. And I am going to stitch this one. Absolutely, 100%. Dutch Still Life is actually the one I was working on earlier this morning. And I think this one will be done sooner rather than later because it works really well with the idea of I'm just going to finish the orange or the wedge of cheese or that clump of grapes and not visualize stitching the whole entire project. It also has a lot of blank space in the background so there's not as much stitching as a full coverage piece would have and the shading in these Riola skits it is amazing how much they can accomplish without doing the full-on terrifying confetti. And when I say terrifying I mean that in the best possible I love confetti way. We're moving on to my 2020 Mania Starts. This one is Mad Bluebird, which I thought was perfect for the way I was feeling in May. There is something wrong with the side of his belly. I used the wrong color. I should have taken notes because when I have to go start him again, I'm going to have to do some comparing with the chart and figuring to see what I did. Write yourself notes because you won't come back to things as quickly sometimes as you promised yourself you would. Stitcher's ABC is another of the Mania starts and I worked on it the one day, have not picked it up again since, and no particular reason behind that just because there is so much fun stuff to stitch. I also put quite a few hours into stitching lessons. This one is... It makes my heart go pity pat. I've had a little trouble keeping the six strand floss organized on the card because there's so much taking off the strands I need and then rewinding the cut strand. And this project is going to take so many hours that I think I'm probably going to break down and just wind it all into bobbins and give it its own bobbin box. If I spent less time fighting the floss and more time stitching, I'd make a lot more progress a lot faster. Dollhouse Hutch is another one that I started. I worked on for the morning and then set aside for other Mania projects. But I think I'm going to get back to this one soon because it is there and it is ready to go. And I'm going to pretend that I don't know that when we were packing everything up for evacuation, I don't know where the frame is. If worst comes to worst, though, I can make a new frame. I can do something. So that's not a deal breaker. I have seen this one finished at an antique mall and it was gorgeous. Window with Magpie, I've been calling this one Blue Window, is another one of the Mania starts. I think I did a couple days on this one before setting it aside. Thimbalina hit a snag when I realized how many discontinued threads that she calls for. I bought the pattern 15 plus years ago, did not kid her up at the time, and did not read the instructions to know that there's a lot here that is DMC that is not cotton DMC. And looking at her right now, I don't know which way is up, so I'm going to have to do some figuring to make this one work. Beach Babies is another one I spent a lot of hours on, the shading on this one. Once I got past the idea that the pinks were too dark and that my little girl had a horrible sunburn and was going to develop skin cancer later in life, I really had fun with this one. And I'm going to put it back in my rotation very soon. Done by Me is another mania start. I don't know where the chart is. I don't know who the designer of the chart is. I was not at all enthusiastic about this one, so... If the chart doesn't come up, I may just use the rest of the fabric for something else. I'm not going to lose sleep over it. It's not a big deal. Be Well is another mania start. It was one of the Stay Home and Stitch patterns or Be Well and Stitch patterns by Jeanette Douglas Designs. I should just sit down and spend an evening and try to finish this, shouldn't I? Country Farm Stand is another mania start. I just did a lot of gritting and a little bit of green grass and moved on to the next thing. Broom Sale was a Flossoween start. It's an autumn buttoned and beaded kit from Mill Hill, and these challenge me. These challenge me probably more than they should, and I am 
Deciding between working up the nerve and doing some stitching on it now, or maybe just letting it sit till Floss Away in 2021. Here's my start on the 100 Owls Sal from Owl Forest Embroidery. I dyed the fabric myself with some writ and was really happy with it and spent a couple afternoons stitching and then I made a counting error. And no, I did not write myself notes. I need to hunker down and figure out if this can be salvaged or if I just need to frog it and start over because one way or the other, I should do something. That is all of my whips, except for Mr. Rabbit, which has been missing for a long time. Great Resorts, the Universal Monster Sal, and as I said earlier, Little Girl's Fancy, I know that they are here, but they are winning at the game of hide and seek. I haven't lost hope that the missing projects will turn up. The only one I am really concerned about is a little girl's fancy, and I am sure I have seen that somewhere. So it's here. I know it's here. Either that or possibly it's at my mother's house because there are still a few things up there that I have not gone up to get because COVID. Around about October, the plan was to finish as many projects as I could before the end of the year and then to finish as many as I could before Mania in 2021. And I am at the point, there are things I want to start in January. There are at least three things that I'm going to start within the next couple of weeks. I'm not going to worry about it because with life the way it is, I'm going to stitch what I'll, I already own and I am going to have fun. And after doing this video, I know which projects I am going to put in the sewing table beside the couch, and I am going to spend a lot of time on those and some of the ones that don't quite spark my interest right now. Well, they can just sit in their project bags until later. I think at one point I had counted and I had like 36 whips, but I have finished some since then and started a couple since then, and... That is probably the least important number in the history of the world. Let me know, have you dug through and seen what you're working with as we enter the new year? Are you looking forward to starting new things? I'm Michelle. This is my romantic tangle, and it is hopefully going to get less tangled soon, at least in the literal sense. We'll get back to the metaphoric fun sense later. Thanks for watching, and I'll be back with you again soon.